Only on Fox tonight, a Houston mother says her doctor guaranteed she wouldn't have any more children. Good evening, I'm Melinda Spaulding. And I'm Don Teague. Thanks for joining us, everyone. But now that mother of two has a new member of the family, and she says she's not alone. Isaiah Carey joins us now with exclusive details. Isaiah? Don Melinda, a woman in Miami, another in New York, and one right here in Houston emailed me about what they called a failed procedure. One over 600,000 women in this country have had to stop their pregnancies. Now some of those women have taken to social media to express their disappointment and anger over the sterilization process. <laughs> By all accounts, two-year-old Hope Faith shouldn't be here today. She shouldn't be the apple of her mom's eye or the lovable pesky little sister to her big brother Isaac. I was a single mom at the time and I had a lot on my plate already. 33-year-old Candace McLean says that plate included two other children she could barely afford. That's why she underwent a procedure called Eshore in 2007. As seen in this YouTube video, it's a process of inserting a metal coil in the fallopian tube. The procedure is supposed to prevent pregnancies. McLean says her physician guaranteed she couldn't conceive. Then in 2010... I was shocked when I found out I was pregnant, and he was shocked. And he had no answer for me. He said it was a paradox and enigma which basically means a miracle that can't be explained. Actually, McLean found herself in that less than 1% group. In all of Eshore's literature, company officials say their procedure is 99.83% effective. McLean and a Facebook page full of women all complained the procedure created by Eshore's parent company, Conceptus, didn't work and now they have children. The women also complain online about excruciating pain during their cycles as a result of the process. It's disabling. It, it's in, I'm in so much pain. You can't move. And the headaches and um, nausea. And you've never had this before the procedure? Never. Never. There's still that small potential that the patient could become pregnant at a later time. Dr. Susan Rain is an OBGYN and attorney in Houston. She says while Eshear indicates there's less than a 1% chance of a woman getting pregnant after the procedure, studies show the number could be at least 2%. However, the physician says she uses Eshear with patients and calls it a good product. Dr. Rain says doctors should reinforce that risk to patients. But I think we all really try hard to be sure that they understand that because there will be women that come back with a pregnancy after they've had a procedure. No one understands better than McLean does. She has her two-year-old proof. But now the mother wants to remove what she calls a pain-causing Esher coil. She received it free under Medicaid. However, McLean says the state won't pay for the removal since she has also since had her tubes tied. The out-of-pocket cost to her... $46,000 to get rid of Eshore. I wish I would have just had a, a regular tubal ligation, but my, I trusted my doctor and he said that this is best for me, so I, I did it. Conceptus, the maker of Eshore, stands behind its product saying, while no form of birth control should be considered 100% effective, Eshore is the most effective method of permanent birth control available based on a comparison of five years of clinical data. Now this process is approved by the FDA. Now we have placed Eshore's full statement online so you can take a look at it. In the meantime, McLean wants to make it perfectly clear. Now that she has her little unexpected baby girl, Hope Faith, she loves her even more. In the newsroom, Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News. Isaiah, thank you. Well, the Houston Health Department has a...